so this problem is based upon the analysis of the beam using the fan so in this question you need to find the slopes at the supports and support reactions and support reaction moment for the beam okay so some values are given like e i are mentioned so here it's having a udl load that is pi kilo newton per meter and three supports one is rigid support another two are the roller supports okay so now this is a element 1 we'll mention as this is element 1 and this is as element 2 from here to here okay so from here to here up to pi meter there will be element 1 and from uh this from pi to again 9 there will be element 2 okay so after uh, making the discretizing of this uh, element we have to solve by using the fm right so now we'll go for the solution okay so here first you have to divide this domain okay whatever the element is given that to be divided into two parts right as element 1 and element 2 but in general if there is an udl okay if there is an udl having a length for the entire this span so this will be the formula we have to apply for example there is a support reactions there is a support at their ends okay at both the end and the force is applied vertically okay for the node one what will be the force it will be ql divided by 2 okay so q is nothing but whatever the value is given for udl so ql by 2 that is for the node one and this is for the node two the force this will be let us say f1 this is will be let us say f2 and there will be moment at the same node the moment will be ql square by 12 and here ql square by 12 so one it is making the anti clockwise one it is uh, sorry one is making the clockwise at node one another making the anti clockwise at node two and the load is applied like this okay so ql square by 12 will be the moment and force will be ql by 2 so now if you consider as element one so element one having a length of 5 meter and the load will be 5 kilo newton per meter right 5 km per meter so now if you apply the same formula whatever we have generally discussed so we are getting the load ql by 2 okay q is 5 and length is 5 by 2 then it will be 25 by 2 right 5 into 5 is 25 divided by 2 you are getting 12.5 as the f1 okay f1 load will be 12.5 similarly there will be same load that is ql uh, ql by 2 you are getting 12.5 at node 2 and moment if you substitute q as 5 l as 5 square divided by 2 it means 5 into 25 divided by 12 then you are, you are getting 10.41.10.416667 kilo newton per meter same formula we are substituting q is 5 L is pi square divided by 2L. So same. This will be the clockwise direction. This will be the anti-clockwise direction. Same 10.44 we are getting. So if you take the same element for 2, okay. So in 2 there will be load is same. That is 5 kilo newton, but the length is different. That is 4 meter, right? For element 2. So if you apply the same formula, QL by 2, that is 5 into 4 by 2. 5 into 4 is 20. Okay, by two you are getting ten. Similarly, for node three, this is for node two, this is for node three. Okay, so in element one, one to two there will be connectivity, and for element two there will be two to three again. Okay, for here it is one to two. Okay, for element one to two, and for element two to three. Okay, so now this is F two again. This is F three at three. Okay. For element two, so moment is also same now. That is, Q 
QL square by 2L for element 2 also, only the L having 4 square here, 5 into 4 square by 4, sorry by 2L. So, we are getting 6.6 .6 and also this one also same at node 3. So, now if you make the EI, okay. E into I is 210 giga Pascal is given, I is 2 into 10 power of minus 4 meter square. Okay. Now convert these two multiplications, then we are getting 42,000 kilo Newton per meter square E I. Okay. Because uh, this is converted giga as 10 power of 6 into kilo Newton. Okay. So giga means 10 power of 9, right. So 10 power of 9 taken outside as mega, so remaining will be kilo Newton, that is it. So for the stiffness matrix for element 1, what, we should, what will be the stiffness matrix for element 1? So as you know the stiffness matrix for the beam that is 2L, 6L like that you have to form and directly you are getting this formula, okay, if you substitute the uh, L in the equation and here there will be outside, okay, E, I. So everything we have made inside only, nothing is outside in the matrix, okay. So substitute everything E, I and 2 L also, okay. Then we are getting 4, 0, 3, 2 if you substitute in the equation. What is the equation there? Okay, for the stiffness matrix, it is E, I by L cube will be generally outside and inside there will be 2 L, right. In the first row, first column here it will be 2 L. So now you just make it. E i into 2 L divided by L cube, then we are getting this value. Similarly, you have to do for the rest of the values. Okay. Similarly, we will go for the stiffness matrix for element 2. So, E i which you already made, inside there will be 2 L. Okay. So, just make the multiplication with by changing as L. You have to change here L. Length is different for element 2. Okay. If you change the length, then we are getting this equation here E i into 2L by L cube, L will be 4 here, remember, okay. So you are getting element 1, element 2 stiffness matrix. Now you have to make the global stiffness matrix that is K, okay. So before that we will calculate the force, okay. As you can see, okay, so here this is for the force, how do you calculate the force, okay. So force F1, M1, F2, M2, this is for node 1, F1, M1 and F2, M2 for node 2, F3, M3 for node 3 plus what are the forces are applied here, these are the supporting reaction plus what are the forces are applied here, okay. So it is minor 12 because the at node 1, at node 2 and node 3, okay. In all the three cases forces are acting downward. If you see the my uh, previous uh, slides here, I will show once again. So here only I will explain. Here the forces are applying downward. Okay, force one will be downward, two will be downward, three will be downward. So the force acting at downward okay so that's what it is downward so taken as minus 2 l okay and for movement movement whatever the value you are getting so my uh, uh, anti clockwise okay the moment is acting at node 1 it is anti clockwise it means it should be plus anti clockwise will be taken as plus for moment okay so that is minus 10.41 and force 2 at node 2 there are two force are applied because from 1 to 2 we have made uh, one calculation that is 12.5 and at the same time 2 to 3 we have made separately. So there the force at node 2 will minus 10. So it will be totally 22.5 values you are getting at node 2. Moment again at node 2. There are two moments again. Okay. There are two moments are acting at the node 2. One is acting at uh, like a uh, anti-clockwise, another is making as a clockwise. So anti-clockwise we, we are taking as 10 as positive and clockwise we are taking as minus, okay. At the same node 2 we are getting two moments and also two forces. So that is what anti-clockwise plus clockwise minus and force uh, at 
node 2. Okay, this should be node 3 here, but by mistake it is written as F2. Okay, so it should be F3. Uh, okay, right. So, force at 3 we got as uh, minus 10 and moment at 3 we got 6.6 .6, that is in the uh, anticlockwise direction that is what it is plus. Okay, so now you make it F1 minus 12.5, M minus 10.5 this will be M anyhow moment will be 0 all the moments M1, M2, M2 because here there will be no reaction moments at the support end so it will be 0. Okay, so all moments will be taken as 0, 0. So, M1, M1 means 0, 0 minus this 10.41, F2 total F2 minus this 22.5. Now, M3, whatever the value you are getting, 0 of this, we are getting 3.75, F2 as minus 10, M3, 0 plus 6.6, .6, okay, like that you have to calculate the source. So, this will be now your force, okay, these are the force uh, matrix. Now, what are the boundary conditions here? What are the boundary conditions here? There will be no vertical forces. There will be no, sorry, there is vertical forces, but due to that rigid forces, due to the uh, supports, okay, we are having supports, right? These supports we are having here. See, if you see here, uh, so there are supports at their ends, so the deflections. There will be no deflection, no vertical deflections at the nodes. Okay, at the nodes or at the support, there will be no vertical deflections. So, V1, V2, V3 will be 0 and there will be moment deflections, there will be theta at each node. Okay, so theta we have to find out, theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3, we have to find out. Vertical forces all V1, V2 will be 0, right. Now, here is the equation for the finite element equation, this we call as finite element equation, okay. So, here directly again we have calculated, this is the global stiffness matrix K1 plus K2, this one, K, okay. And this is the F equation, where F is equal to K into U, U is what? It is V1 theta 1, V2 theta 2, V3 theta 3. So, directly they have applied V1, V2, V3 as 0 after applying the boundary condition and this is the global stiffness matrix if you do not know how to make the global stiffness matrix there is a separate video on it so you have to just watch it ok now this is a f this is k this is u ok right any doubts you can comment in the comments box this is theta this is u this is k ok and this is f wait ok like that and here we are getting after elimination method, see if this is 0, okay, where u is 0, where v is 0, then their first row, okay, this is their first row and their first column will be eliminated. And second also where v2 is 0 and their third row and their third column, this will be the third column, right, this will be eliminated. Now, this will be the another 0 here this row okay and this column is been eliminated okay. now what will be the remaining here after removing after removing we are having this 33.6 and also 16.8 right and again 16.8 you can see in the next column here 33 first again 66 and lastly we are having 0 in the first column similarly uh, 16.8 and this whatever the sum you are getting here that and finally third one is 21,000 same thing is written here and final, last row 0 21.5 and here 42,000 okay 42.0 so this we are getting 42,000 or 42.0 right okay now so solve these equations so, uh, by using this, okay, you can directly use the calculator to get because there are three unknowns here, theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. Using the unknowns, you substitute in the calculator three unknowns, then you are getting the theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. So, theta 1 as 3.5 into 10 power of minus 4 radian and theta 2, theta 3 is already there. You can see. Now, how do you calculate the reaction, support reactions? Okay. 
So f1, you have to again go to the this equation, first equation, because here there will be reaction supports at node 1, there will be reaction support at node 2 and here there will be reaction supports at 3 also. Okay. So f1 minus 12.5, f1 minus 12.5 equation this 10.5 okay, into uh, the displacement, what will be this displacement into the multiplication that is theta 1 3.5 into 3.5 plus again we are having same 10.08 into theta 2 okay so if you made the equation uh, multiplication uh, matrix multiplication then we are getting f1 similarly you calculate for the f2 which i already mentioned which row you have to take and have to take the f3 also so using this multiplication you are getting the uh, f1 f2 f3 okay and these are the final outputs as the reaction forces okay so like that you have to solve the problems here i made now i may be uh, told something uh, uh, different uh, means uh, when pronouncing it may be 24000 or 24.1 like that there may be some confusion let us uh, know deeply when you are solving okay so thank you for watching and anyhow thank you for your support please try to support the channel have a good day